Greetings, this is Leah Bayaka of SonataMarketing.com and IntenseHigh.com. And uh, today I wanted to share with you some thoughts I had on your new uniqueness, meaning to say your unique you. Uh, oftentimes we enter into business um, with a drive and a desire and a passion and we get these great ideas and we start working on it we produce our uh, products or we you know determine our services that we want to offer and then we begin to look around uh, us and see that there are competitors out there who seem to be offering very similar products or services and then we can begin to wonder well how am i going to um make room for myself or how am I going to carve out a space for myself when there are so many others seemingly doing the same thing. It's really, really important for you to understand um, as a entrepreneur and business owner that if you don't have your goals and your mission and your vision clearly defined then your customers also will not get the message uh, what makes you stand out from your competitors and when i say clearly defined it literally means sit down and write out your mission what is it that you want to accomplish with this business what is it that you are trying to relay to the greater population, the, the world out there about your products or services? Um, your vision, that is what do you see and envision um, for yourself and with your company in terms of how your company uh, relates to the outer world? What do you see that your products or services will do for your target market. Um, and in doing that, the process is often just as powerful as the end result. So if you're going to write out your vision and your mission for your company, it's not an easy process for a lot of us. It takes some time. It, and it's, it's literally two to three sentences. But writing those two to three sentences are sometimes the hardest thing that you'll have to do um, in setting up your business or uh, in running your business sometimes. But it's absolutely critical because these are your guidelines and your roadmaps for rolling out your marketing strategy, for even dealing with your customer service and setting up the components of how do you want to best handle your customer relations all of that trails back to your company's vision and mission so having said that once you're able to really define the nuts and bolts of your mission statement and your vision statement and your purpose for being in business that then is your answer to your uniqueness because nine times out of ten your competitors are not going to have the same mission or vision and sometimes they may not even have one period meaning they may not have even sat down and thought about and planned out the roadmap for how they will present themselves the language that you use to connect and communicate with your clients all of that should be driven by your mission and your vision statement. So for instance, if your goal is to uh, bring beauty to the world through everyday products that you create. So in, in, in saying that, then now your vision and your mission is clear to you. So that for instance, if you have made um, crocheted hats, crochet bags, for instance, and you know that your mission is to simply bring beauty to everyday uh, items that people use, then now your mission is driving your marketing so that you're going to say, 
Uh, if you put out some marketing with some photos of your products, now that is going to now di direct, for instance, your photo placement. Maybe you're going to have this gorgeous um, crocheted bag um, in the middle of, you know, a kitchen with, um, or maybe it's going to show some library books in it or some items that the mom is going to use um, for where she normally would have used a plastic bag or a paper sack or something and just you know grab it and run out the door and she's heading to run her errands but beautifying the simple acts the simple activities in her life your bag helps her to do that helps her to remind herself of um that in life can be enjoyed in the smallest of things and that sometimes having something beautiful by her side while she runs her you know her general errands that she does every day can lighten her life can bring joy can make her you know think of other possibilities in her life or how can she insert beauty into other daily activities in her life so you're going to use that perhaps in the statement perhaps in the little quote next to your bag on the photo um, these are the things that you want to push and 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 bring to the forefront every time that you are producing your marketing materials. It can also be something that um, statements on your website, giving people ideas about how they can themselves, even without having to use your products, um, putting up articles about um, you know, making um, beautiful items out of everyday home household items, um, repurposing, you know, it just the list goes on for what you can do and use to market your vision and mission. It, it doesn't have to al always include your own products, but then if you're going to be posting articles to your Facebook page or on your blog, um, sometimes you're lacking in ideas in terms of how many times can you talk about this one bag. So then you're now going to insert um, marketing articles, um, other pieces of information that might be of use. I, I know of a, a natural products um, uh, a producer who uh, in her marketing, she will then post um, natural ways to clean your home using essential oils. That is not specific to her own product, but it is all within the mission and goals that she has for her company, which is to promote the use of natural products um, for your body as well as within your household. So she's able to extrapolate and just kind of take that a little bit further. But you'd be surprised what your mission and vision will do for you. And as you study your own mission and vision, you may find that as time goes on, you will modify it. And it's very important to have an ongoing conversation with yourself uh, in terms of what is my mission and vision. And oftentimes you might be sitting uh, there at a loss after a while, after a certain time frame that you've put out several marketing materials, um, you've produced some products and you're kind of in a lull phase and you're wondering, okay, what else can I do? Maybe your sales are lagging. Um, you're not getting the attention that you need. Well, I think that's a time where you might want to walk backwards and sit down again with your mission and your vision and say, what am I doing here? Um, is there something that I need to adjust in my mission and vision? Have I outgrown my original uh, mission and vision? Do I need to insert uh, some other information that I found through interactions with my customers in terms of their needs, um, so ways that you can adjust yourself um, and reposition your brand. Those are all um, things that you need to kind of revisit from time to time and uh, grow through that process. But there's nothing like having the assurance and the self-confidence that's necessary um, through living your mission and vision. And I've repeated it several times, I know I have, but there's just nothing like that sense of self-confidence, that sense of bringing yourself to your product and bringing yourself through your product. Um, there's no other better way to communicate with your customers uh, other than through your passion. And they will feel that. And if they connect with it, they're gonna connect with it um, 
um, straight off the bat because they feel your passion and they share that passion with you. And so I just wanted to share these few tips with you. I hope they have been helpful and uh, I look forward to sharing more with you in the future. Um, please check the uh, link box below for both the Sonata Marketing website and the Intense High website. And I will see you next time. Peace.